most fulfilling thing about designing and working and the DAC constructed was probably the fact that we knew we were going to be doing something for the architectural community, um, giving something that was going to allow the architectural community to have a, a conversation with the public and get the public involved and have an open discussion about what it is that we do as a profession and what things we can offer back to the community. Uh, my name is Elon. I'm with Rockville Interiors, and we're doing the motorized window coverings. And what would you say will be the most rewarding thing once this is all finished? Um, having all the high-profile architects at DC seeing our work, seeing how good we are, and give us an opportunity to work on their job. I'm Nelson with Splain Security Systems, and what I'm doing here is access control systems and security systems for the building. Uh, I'm Michael Andrade, I'm the operations manager for Washington AIA, and I've been on the phone with Verizon for six hours, and uh, no help yet, but slowly we'll get in and end. Hello, so my name is Yolen Siku. I'll be working downstairs as the new coordinator of this annex and I'm very excited. It's all brand new, exciting time. And I'm Sarah Dilijon to pick up and I've been the uh, educational di director at the Alliance Francaise for the last seven years but I'll be leaving soon. However, I've been working on this project for the last uh, 18 months. So I'm all excited that it's coming to completion just about when I'm about to leave. <laughs> Very yeah, happy. Beautiful. Absolutely, beautiful. we love the slick contemporary mm -hmm. style. Yeah, lots of space. Yeah, the Perfect. glass, you know, the space. The... And I used to buy uh, political t shirts here back in 2008. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I love all the glass. Uh, just the glass bridge is, is very unique and interesting. It's a wonderful focal point. Uh, people see it and they you know, immediately don't want to walk on it. Their, their, their senses tell them that that's just not you know, logical and they can't do it, but uh, they, they end up walking on it. It's, just, it's really an interesting feature. And I like the way they uh, mix the steel uh, around the countertops and things with the, with the wood and left part of the ceiling open. It, it's really a, a very well-designed space. I can't say I know Siegel is definitely committed to supporting the AIA and um, you know they, we, we didn't hold back any uh, options or, or stops or, or pull any punches on this job. It was, it was done right and uh, you know we pressed forward with everything so it, it was done first class. Architecture Center. Everybody, one, two, three. What do I hope for for the, the, the District Architecture Center? I hope that it really does become a vibrant place for architecture, for the practice and learning of architecture, and that it really engages the public as well as the profession and allows the profession to get become broader and have more of an impact within the, within the public realm and allows the public to really understand and participate in what we do and what we you know the in the day in and day out process of what it means to be an architect.